Oh my god! If you were given a life of black and white, would you take it upon yourself to seek some color? Leave your comfort zone. See what you discover. It's up to us. And we choose the full spectrum of color and chaos. It's the red flush of your face when you lock eyes with a lover and leaning into moments that make your stomach flutter. A life full of color isn't always vibrant. It's acknowledging the gray space that comes with misalignment, permitting the hesitations that cross your mind to filter through, and accepting yourself even when you're feeling blue. When was the last time your heartbeat synced with the sound of the drums? Oh Immerse yourself in that and see what your life becomes. Living a life full of color is practicing presence and making time with your friends, asking the hard questions because that's where the real growth begins. And when you find your light dimming, surrender to the flow. You're living a life full of color, which means every shade of the rainbow. You like that? Yeah, yeah. You like that? Give a high five, give a high five, yeah. <laughs>now on our way to share with our team and loved ones the biggest financial investment we've ever made. But before we get to that, we wanted to create a snapshot of this year and how it led us to this moment. We've been through a lot since we started Yes Theory and Seek Discomfort. There were many times where we thought we wouldn't make it through, but 2020 was different. When the year began, we had high hopes. We took our first step to demonstrate that Seek Discomfort had aspirations that were way bigger than being just a fashion brand. Our first sponsored seeker, Anders Hoffman, headed off to complete the Iceman, conquering Antarctica's first ever Ironman and raising the Seek Discomfort flag on the edge of the world. None of this would have been possible without you. The holiday drop the year before allowed us to sponsor Anders in the first place. You lifted his dream up both physically and financially. The crew that joined Anders came directly from this community, and with the help of this whole family, he completed his mission in 72 hours in the toughest conditions known to man. I haven't come here to not finish this. I can hear people telling me that I couldn't do the Iceman, that I couldn't swim in ice water, that I couldn't bike in Antarctica. A lot of the major Everests of the world have already been done, and to me, this is another Everest. We're here! <laughs> it's fucking heavenly cut! <laughs> it was a story we knew that had the power to make the world believe that limitations are perceptions. But just when him and the team arrived back on the mainland, the world shut down. We were suddenly stuck together with no ability to move or meet new people. I've been so physically drained all day because I, 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 I literally, I don't know what, what can productively be done whatsoever. Like, is it worth planning for the future? Like, every single day. And frankly, we were the lucky ones. None of us got sick. Our friends and family were safe. We still had our jobs, but suddenly the pandemic revealed what we as friends had avoided for years. Built up frustrations came to the surface. It was the first time we really thought that things may never go back to normal. And because of all these obstacles in our way, we went quiet. You didn't hear from us for months. But pretty quickly, roles switched. Just when we were at our lowest low, the Yes Fam, the Seekers, you came to the rescue. You gave us hope. Despite the lockdown around the world, you leaned into discomfort. You leveraged the very community that you'd built to find ways to be together and stay connected. You self-organized Zoom events, from dance parties to concerts to conversations with strangers. You took action. You pitched us ideas from seek discomfort drops to apps. You sweat for a hundred days. You sent us photos and videos wearing and tattooing seek discomfort to remind us that you were still there. You didn't complain. Instead, you offered to help. You took action. We couldn't believe it. It was like you were giving us a second life. 
You understood that this pandemic was just another form of discomfort, and that if we band it together, we'd not only survive, but thrive. You motivated us to get back at it. We became excited to tell stories again, to you seek discomfort as a tool that we'd always hoped it could be. COVID affected everyone, but especially the disenfranchised. Millions lost their jobs, and we felt that with this audience, we could make a difference. So, with you behind us, we hit the ground running and began to leverage Seek Discomfort in a way that we never had before. Within one month, you were able to donate 250,000 meals and 15,000 masks to those who needed it more than ever. This collective effort showed us that even when we were locked at home, even when we couldn't meet in person, Seek Discomfort in this community would stand up when it mattered. Not too long after, 8 minutes and 46 seconds of injustice flooded the world's screens. People went from being siloed at home to uniting in an uproar against systemic racism. It's important that we come here and spread love amongst each other with different races because without this unity, we don't have the energy to fight every day. And your energy counts. Your energy counts. Your energy counts. Millions took to the streets. It was historic. You joined them. We joined them. And together, through a single design, we raised nearly $50,000 for Black Lives Matter in a single day. Holy shit, we thought to ourselves. There is so much that we can do here. We felt like you understood just as much as we did what our goal was with Seek Discomfort. You saw that it was more than just a fashion brand. It was a way of life, a way to connect. Despite a rough year, we felt seen by you. You understood what we were trying to do, and you were willing to put your money behind it. So, we once again sought discomfort and doubled down. Oh my God! Okay. Whoa! Oh! It's unbelievable. Huge, massive step for the brand. We've got our own 15,000 square foot warehouse. Where we're gonna be making our stuff here. This is some of the boxes for the stuff we're out selling. Was it two years ago we started Seek Discomfort? Mm-hmm. Two years ago we started Seek Discomfort. Now look at this. Look at this. What is happening? I was thinking of where this started in an apartment in Montreal. And then you look at how big it's becoming. Here is a super exciting part of this whole thing. You see this bulb right here? We are going to put every single person's name who orders out of the three drops this holiday on that wall. Having everybody here, having all of you with us here is gonna make it that much more special, so. Oh, I'm so excited. Seek Discomfort has always and will always be a community effort. From the very beginning, we had not only you, but our young team of scrappy entrepreneurs, creators, and artists who quit jobs, moved across the world, left everything to be a part of this. They trusted us with this vision that Seek Discomfort could become the biggest backer of the world's change makers. It could support global movements that bend the arc of the moral universe towards justice. It could create spaces and events that bring together special humans together at scale and spark new ideas and relationships. Seek Discomfort could become a powerful potion for human progress. So as crazy as the world is at the moment, we want you to take a step back, to understand what you've enabled us to create to see that despite an insane year, you never left each other's side. You were there not only for us in this community, but for the world. You enabled us to see just how much impact we can make together. As this letter and this crazy year come to an end, we're proud of how far we've come and aware of how much farther there is to go. It's on days like this that we look around and can't believe how lucky we are to be surrounded by humans who believe so deeply and the idea of love over fear. And it's with those humans that we celebrate. When every time I walk here, I look, I look at each of these boxes and I realize the infinite possibilities that is within each box for what we experience just wearing this out on the street and the people that come up and start having the conversation about it or asking them saying, oh, I really like that. To just think that, you know, in each of these boxes, an opportunity lies for a connection to happen and for two people to get to create together. It just fills my heart knowing that there's such a positive message and the operation is getting bigger and pretty terrifying. Like these machines are not, are, you know, are not cheap. It's, it's a pretty big risk. But we experience the power of this brand on a daily basis on the street with people who have no idea who we are or what Yes Theory is. So that's why it's in our mind, it's just a no-brainer that we're only doubling down from here and we're only doing 
anything and everything we can to make sure that this reaches far and wide. I kind of want to just like dance around here. Like we should just enjoy being in this warehouse because it's not going to look like this ever again. Woo! So let's freaking party, dude.